and go into spiritual ruin. And they that dwell on the earth shall wander, whose names were not written in the book of life from the foundation of the world, when they behold the beast that was and is not, and yet is. Mm -hmm. And here is the mind which have wisdom, the seven hills, all seven mountains, on which the Romans said. It gives us a geographical location. The Romans sits upon seven hills. And it also lets us know that the Roman Catholic Church was the one that devoured the seven churches that uh, that Paul set up. By the time Rome fell in 476 AD, they didn't even one of those churches uh, 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 existed. And they went into the period of time called the Dark Ages, and it was called that because it wasn't anything coming uh, uh, from the church. But after that was over, she came out singing like the horn, and she was, and they had one church, the Roman Catholic Church. And that didn't uh, divide until 1570 when Martin Luther, another German, uh, uh, separated the protesters from the Roman Catholic Church, and that is blows down into a big money maker. Yeah. Go ahead and read it. If they ain't got it, they'll make it up for you. Yeah. Go ahead and read, Steve. Verse 9. And here is the mind which had wisdom, the seven heads are seven mountains on which the woman set mm -hmm. Verse 10. Hold up, bro. Verse 9, and here's the man which had wisdom, the seven heads are seven mountains on which the Romans sit. Mm -hmm. And there are seven kings, five are fallen, and one is, and the other is not yet come, and when he cometh, he must continue a short space. And the beast that was, and is not, even he is the eighth, and is of the seven, and goeth into spiritual ruin. And the ten horns which thou saw with our ten kings, which have received no kingdom as yet, but received power as kings one hour with the beast. These have one mind, and shall give their power and strength unto the beast. These shall make war with the lamb, and the lamb shall overcome them. For he is Adonai of lords, and king of kings. And they that are with him are called, and chosen, and faithful. And he says unto me, The waters which thou saw where the horse sitteth are peoples and multitudes and nations and tongues. Mm -hmm. And the ten horns which thou saw upon the beast, these shall hate the whore, and shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. Mm -hmm. For Elohim have put in their hearts to fulfill his will, and to agree and give their kingdom unto the beast until the words of Elohim shall be fulfilled. Mm -hmm. And the woman which thou sawest is that great city which reigneth over the kings of the earth. Okay, my brother, now let's go pick up that war between the uh, 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 the Christians and the Muslims. Uh, uh, Daniel 11 and verse 36 through verse 45. Daniel chapter 11 and verse 36 through verse 45. Yeah, the one that was the one that was called the same thing about the right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. America tried to set up just like Rome. Just like Rome, brother. Uh, Revelation 11, I mean Daniel rather, 11 and verse 36 through verse 45. <laughs> And the king shall do according to his will, and he shall exalt himself and magnify himself above every god, and shall speak marvelous things against the Elohim of gods, and shall prosper till the indignation be accomplished, for that that is determined shall be done. Mm -hmm. Neither shall he regard the Elohim of his fathers, nor the desire of women, nor regard any god. For he shall magnify himself above all. But in his estate shall he honor the God of forces. And a God whom his fathers knew not shall he honor with gold and silver and with precious stones and pleasant things. Thus shall he do in the most strongholds with a strange God, whom he shall acknowledge and increase with glory. And he shall cause them to rule over many 
and shall divide the land for gain. So he's talking about his military power that he's going to uh, increase with all these riches, and that's who he's going to that's who he's going to give favor to is his military power. Go ahead and read, brother. Verse forty. And at the time of the end shall the king of the south put At the time of the end, the king of uh, 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 the Middle East is going to push at the king of the north. It will be the first time. They did it in the 6th century. And they did it again in the 13th century. Mm -hmm. But each time, the Gentiles stopped that battle at Constantinople, uh, 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 which is Istanbul, Turkey today. Go ahead and read, brother. And the king of the north shall come against him like a whirlwind with chariots and with horsemen and with many ships. And he shall enter into the countries and shall overflow and pass over. He shall enter also into the glorious land and many countries shall be overthrown, but these shall escape out of his hand, even Edom and Moab and the chief of the children of Ammon. Mm -hmm. He shall stretch forth his hand also upon the countries and the land of Egypt shall not escape. But he shall have power over the treasures of gold and of silver and over all the precious things of Egypt. And the Libyans and the Ethiopians shall be at his staff. Now these are Muslims, we know that, right? Mm -hmm. Go ahead, brother. Verse 44. But tidings out of the east and out of the north shall trouble him. Therefore he shall go forth with great fury to destroy and utterly to make away many. And he shall plant the tabernacles of his palace between the seas in the glorious holy mountain. Yet shall he come to his end, and none shall have. Right. They destroy St. Peter's Basilica. First they invade the Middle East. And uh, the beasts invade the Middle East, and defeat Shem, and the Roman Empire is reestablished over, uh, over, the, uh, over the, the whole earth. This is when uh, 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 the Ten Kings is going to destroy St. Peter's Basilica, and the Pope is going to move to Jerusalem and get in the temple that they're going to build in Jerusalem and say that he is God. Revelation chapter 13, and verse 11 through verse 18. Revelation chapter 13 and verse 11 through verse 18. Let's pick up this last beast. Now we have political Babylon. Now we're going to bring uh, 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 Ecclesiastical Babylon. This last pope that's going to rule the earth. Uh, the scripture called him the false prophet. Okay. How beautiful it would be if the masses of our people could come together and hear this great word. Man, niggas don't want to hear this word, man. What well, folks want to hear this word from man? Oh, Lord, us don't want to hear it, man, because it cramps our style. Mm -hmm. Okay? But see, once you hear it, you're chargeable. Mm -hmm. He that knows to do right and don't do it is going to be beat with many strikes. But he that don't know and commit error is going to be uh, uh, beaten with few stripes. See, that's why when you come in CCI, make sure you know what you got to know. Mm -hmm. So you won't have no excuse. Mm -hmm. You can't say, well, how did he say that? Yes, he did. Mm -hmm. Yes, he did. Got some tapes back there. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so, you know, 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 Ain't gonna work. If you try to be in both, you already been deceived. Ain't no doubt about it. You already been deceived and already cut off the gospel. What you do? You already been taking one with this mess, man. Uh, uh, Revelation chapter 13, and pick that up at verse 11 through verse 18, but And out of hell another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. He, when the first beast came up out of the sea of men, this next beast came up out of the earth, right? And he had two horns like a, 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 like a lamb. In other words, he had the power of the evil and he had the power of the Roman Catholic Church, right? And what happened? He spoke 
as a dragon. Now remember, uh, 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 the dragon had gave the Roman Empire his power and his seat and great authority, but the spokesman for him is the Pope, the false prophet. That's why he spake as a dragon. I'll go ahead and read it, brother. First. 12, and he exercises all the power of the first beast before him, and causes the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast, whose deadly wound was here. Mm -hmm. And he do great wonders, so that he make a fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men, and deceive with them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live mm -hmm. and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed mm -hmm. and he causes all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man and his number is 666. Right, his number is uh, 666, which, will, which is the number of each pope that takes the office. It's the number that goes uh, 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 along with the office. 2 Thessalonians 2, let's verify that. 2 Thessalonians 2, in verse 1 through verse 12. 2 mm -hmm. Thessalonians 2, in verse 1 through verse 12. Well, you know that the wrong spells that the, the, Catholic priest, they're the one that keeps continuing with that, you know, they keep continuing with that, uh, they put the politics of the people. Mm-hmm. 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 Second Thessalonians 2, in verse 1 through verse 12. Yes, sir. Now we beseech you, brethren, by the calling of our Adonai, Yahshua HaMashiach, and by our gathering together unto him, that you be not soon shaken in mind, or be troubled, neither by spirit, nor by word, nor by letter, as from us, as that the day of the Mashiach is at hand. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except that come a following away first, and that men of sin be revealed, the son of spirit right, of the Lord. Right now. Many times Jehovah's Witnesses has come up and say, well, the Lord is coming on such and such a day and at such and such a time and end up with egg all over their face because no man uh, 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 knows the hour uh, uh, of the day. And like you said in verse 3, let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there come a falling away uh, first, and that man of sin be revealed the son of position. A fall away from what? A falling away from sound doctrine. Mm -hmm. A falling away from walking in the truth. And and, and at this time go, if you get closer and closer to our salvation, watch and see how many folks you see get up out of here. Mm -hmm. Just watch. Just watch. The world got something for you, brother. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. If you haven't come up out of that world yet, you stand a good chance of not coming up out of it. Go ahead and leave, brother. You took, like I said, you fit with Satan. Satan gonna get you. Ain't no doubt about it. You ain't got no as powerful as an adversary of Satan is, you fit with him, he gonna get you. Now you can believe that. Yeah. Uh, go ahead and read, Steve. Second Thessalonians chapter two, verse four. Who opposes and exalts himself above all that is called Elohim, all that work, that is worship, so that he is Elohim. Sit up in the temple of Elohim, showing himself that he is Elohim. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Remember you not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things, and now you know what we told him, that he might be revealed in this time. For the mystery of iniquity does already work. Only he who now let us will let until he be taken. Only the Holy Spirit is letting these things go on until when? Until he be taken up out of the way. Have you got enough of the Spirit of the living God to go on your own once the Spirit is removed? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and read, brother. Second 
What do you mean, Buster? Verse 8. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Adonai shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming, even him whose coming is after the working of Satan, with all power and signs and light.